Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 22nd, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. Mine wasn't all that great with that double root canal, but hey, things went well. I survived. Still a little bit on the sore side, as you might expect, but I'm ready for a full day here in the market. Let's take a look at what happened in uh, the overnight market here. And we had a little bit of turmoil. Um, Asian markets struggled last night, ended up mostly lower. However, we ended up with Shanghai higher by 0.54% and Hong Kong managed to squeak out just a little tiny gain of 0.10%. We saw um, South Korea lower, India, uh, uh, Japan, and EK was lower, and Australia uh, lower on the day. So a little bit of, well, maybe uncertainty over there, even as China cuts rates, um, suggesting that that may not do it. If we take a look at uh, European markets this morning, they are bearish across the board, continuing to follow through to the downside. Um, clearly just a little bit of concern about the earnings and whether or not we're going to produce uh, the uh, size of earnings to meet the uh, prices that we have created here in the market. Looking at the, oh, by the way, um, uh, the DAX is down 0.33%, FTSE is down 0.67%, and the CAC is down 0.72%. U.S. futures are also just a little bit lower here this morning with the Dow down 0.39%, this S&P 500 down 0.48, and the NASDAQ down 0.59% this morning. Um, looking for at least the beginning of the day uh, for some more follow through to the downside here. Um, if we take a look at uh, bonds this morning, well, bonds continue to be a bit of a problem here for the overall market. We continue to see that issue here where we just can't seem to get things um, on the right side of the market where we've got the two-year bonds this morning at 4.05%, um, the 10-year bonds at 4.20%, and those 30-year bonds stretching up there to 4.5% as we continue to see the bond market completely disagreeing with the market itself. And I'm not sure which one is going to blink first or break. So keep a close eye on that. If we continue on here, if we take a look at oil prices, oil prices um, trying to, whoops, let's get the right symbol, trying to push back up here today after a bit of a pop and drop yesterday on um, the XLE on oil producers in here. But oil this morning is up $66 a barrel at $71.22. Brent is up $0.78 cents at $75.07 a barrel. And even natural gas is trying to recover here just a little bit after yesterday's move higher. Um, but boy, this has got a lot of work to do just kind of testing these um, these lows here in UNG. We need to get above some support and uh, proof to hold uh, before we can gain any confidence in a natural gas. If we look at precious metals, however, we can have a little bit of confidence in those. My goodness, uh, GLD really zooming yesterday to the upside pushing on through looking really, really strong. And right now gold futures are up $12.50 an ounce. They have been higher here this morning, uh, continuing to push up. That puts gold this morning at $2,751 a coin this morning, um, or excuse me, an ounce this morning. Silver, silver is also just ripping to the upside. Now, I think after breaking through 
this resistance up here. I would be watching for a rest, some kind of consolidation. And by the way, I got to go to a weekly chart to get that all the way back over here. Um, but maybe a little rest, a little bit of pullback in here might be due coming into the SPY, but it is certainly looking strong this morning. If we take a look at uh, copper, copper miner here, FCX, well, um, it is not responding all that well here this morning, even though copper is showing a little bit higher platinum is higher and palladium um, also bouncing higher here this morning um, there's our little line up there um, up 2190 uh, gapping up here this morning on palladium so what does all that mean oh wait we should take a look at crypto uh, crypto this morning um, feeling a little bit of pressure here um, as um, the rest of the market is showing a little bit of bearishness crypto is um, also showing some bearishness if we look at BITO BITO just resting back a little tiny bit this is not a bearish pattern however this is still a bullish pattern and it'd be just exactly the kind of thing I'd be looking for to find an entry. I need that rest, that consolidation. But right now, Bitcoin is down $500 a coin, 0.74%. Um, um, we've got Ether down 45.40 a coin or 1.70%. And we're pretty much red across the board here this morning on those coins. If we take a look at the US dollar, this is probably one of the culprits for that. And this is the EU. UP ETF, but the US dollar continuing to move higher. Right now, dollar futures are up 50 cents. So we're continuing to see the strengthening dollar as those bond yields rise and creating some pressures in the market. So, what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at the market for what it is, not for what we want it to be. Shake off that bias in here. Well, first off, first thing you can see in here, we're, we are still in a bullish trend. There's nothing wrong with the trend here in the Dow. However, spinning top doji, little spinning top or hanging man doji, uh, doji in here and a bearish engulfing doesn't provide a whole lot of super confidence up here in this candle pattern but when we look at the support and trend in here we're still in pretty good shape we have good support in here we have good trend to hold in here so pull back in here really won't be a problem if those buyers step up in here and we start to push back up that would be a very bullish pattern in the market. Now, where it gets a little bit fuzzy and uh, the bears uh, could have a little bit of concern if they push this down through here. We've got a good support level in here, but we might raise a little bit of concern in the market by breaking that upside trend. And if this support were to break, I would I would guess considerable fear could come into the market. So I can't say that that's going to occur, but I'm just looking at all those potential possibilities. So watch carefully here on the diamonds. Our SPY, taking a look at our SPY, SPY, also still in a very bullish pattern. This is a very bullish upside trend. This is a nice little resting pullback toward support. Um, None of that big old bearish um, uh, candle in there on this one, so no particular worries at all. If the bulls can find inspiration here, bounce off of this support and trend, you can see it wouldn't be all that hard to push this right back up to new record highs in the SPY. But if the bears were to continue this inspiration today and push this on down, breaking down below that trend might raise a little bit of concern in the market. And of course, we've got a pretty good support right through here in that chart right on that line so watch that area right there if we can hold 
that area probably no particular worries but it might raise a little bit of fear breaking that however i think would raise some significant fear despite the fact that we have a big strong area of price support in the spy um, i think that would raise some concern now if we take a look at our qqq our QQQ also in a bullish pattern, but maybe just a little bit more uncertain. We just rested in here yesterday in this consolidating move. We still have that little bit of worry that this could end up being a bit of a lower high. What we need to see is we need to see those bulls push on through, get back up here, retest this resistance and possibly even break it so we can push through this resistance in the chart. I guess it's really all gonna depend about how those earnings come out and whether or not we can see that the the big hopeful gains that the market is expecting here in the market you want to um, keep an eye here if the bears however were to find some inspiration if they were to break back down below this area here that's probably going to be a concern and raise some eyebrows here in the market, particularly if we lose that upside trend. Breaking below those two areas in here would probably raise some fear, despite the fact that we have a pretty solid area of price support in here. I would expect a little bit of concern to be raised in the market. So watch that carefully here. That's both the bullish and bearish side possibilities there. And if we look at IWM, IWM, pretty strong pullback yesterday testing this support level that I put in the chart and you can see this morning we're gapping a little bit below that but probably no big issue if we can bounce right back up we'll want to be watching that carefully here in the chart if they can pop right back through that remember we did make a new high up here so we did pop through there and made a new high so if those bulls can fire up here and get going start pushing back up this could end up being that higher low in the chart we may be following a new upside trend so be watching carefully here if those bulls were able to grab a hold but if the bears continue to find inspiration here this morning pushing back in here we've got some price support right in here that could catch us and if that were to fail probably back down into here now i think we could probably pull back into here without too much uh, concern in the market but i think if we were to push down through that area and this trend that would really raise some concern in the market so keep an eye on that if that were to occur and unlikely to occur here all in one day certainly possible but unlikely if we take a look at our vix well our vix didn't really respond too much at all yesterday we did pop up just a tiny little bit but you can see we still have this downtrend in here we've still got price support in this chart right along this area that we're holding on to so so far no particular worries in here it would be any follow through or break through up here that would probably raise some concern notice we've got a little bit of resistance right there and then we'd be looking at this area here breaking into these areas of resistance again would raise some of that fear if those bears were to uh, grip it and really um, rip to the downside. Now, if the bulls continue to find inspiration, if we can defend these support levels here in the chart and defend these trends, then a bounce down through here looks like certainly a possibility in pushing us lower in that VIX. So we'll want to watch carefully for that if those bulls find inspiration in the, um, the earnings data today. If we take a look at our uh, T21, 22, our T20s here, this really helped a lot yesterday in relieving a ton of that pressure that we were so elevated here in the market, relieved a lot of that um, overly bullish pressure. So now we have a situation here, if the bulls find inspiration, we've got room for them to push to the upside so that was a nice little relief yesterday if the bears however continue to find inspiration this morning we could push on down here into this area of the chart so watch carefully that certainly could be the case and we haven't been oversold in some time now so maybe um, those bears would push a little bit harder we get into an oversold and we can relieve a
little bit more of that buy pressure, that anticipation pressure here in the market. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, clearly T2108 had a rough day yesterday pulling back, but once again, I don't think anything is really in jeopardy here. We're still holding above the 50% area in the chart. The push down this morning, I could see that possibility. We could test that and maybe bounce up off of that. I think the real concern is if we were to break that and continue to fall, breaking this upside trend in here, that might raise some concerns if those bears were to really get going. However, if the bulls get going, we've got a good area of support here to bounce from and pushing back up to retest some resistance in the chart. Remember, this is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. T2107 is the, oops, T2107 is the percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average. Also had a little bit of a rough day, but no damage was really done here. We're in this little bit of a choppy range right in here. We've got good support underneath this area. We still have this upside trend that it's holding on to. So if the bulls find inspiration here and bounce up off of here, I would say coming back up here, retest these resistance levels and maybe pushing on a higher could be possible. So watch carefully. Breaking down below there might raise a little bit of concern, but as long as we're holding above 50%, good support level right in here, we're probably good on the T2107. Our T2101 had a little pullback in breadth yesterday and one, and that would be a, a good sign because the bears didn't increase the breadth here yesterday. So um, as we see the bears push back here, a little bit of relief in the buying. Um, if we continue to see that breadth pullback, I would look at that as a possible bullish clue that the bears are not gaining ground here um, in the market. Um, so watch that carefully as we rest or pull back. If that breadth continues to decline, no particular worries. If that breadth were to turn and start up on the sell wave, that's where concern should come into the market and we could really see some selling. So watch that carefully here. Let's take a look at our um, um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar, not a whole lot in here to worry about. We got some more Fed talk in here. It sounds like the Fed speak is kind of starting to turn to maybe a little bit more uncertain um, with some of the data out there, of course, those bonds have to really be making them nervous here um, in the FOMC. But we've got Hawker speaking today. We've got a Richmond Fed manufacturing number. As always, this manufacturing stuff um, hasn't been good. They're not expecting it to be very good. And the market doesn't care. It just literally doesn't care that our manufacturing is in a terrible state in the United States. We don't care as long as we can continue to buy tech and AI we're perfectly happy um, um, taking a look at um, um, we've got a treasury buyback um, coming on in here some uh, bond announcements and a money supply here at the end of the day. Looking into Wednesday as you plan forward, we've got mortgage applications, existing home sales, petroleum status, we've got those inflation expectations from Atlanta, um, um, some Fed speakers, a 20-year bond auction, and that beige book to be paying attention to here on Wednesday. So maybe a little bit more activity on that economic calendar. But what everyone is going to be focused on is, of course, earnings. And my goodness, do we have a slew of earnings here today. Um, what I'm going to recommend you guys do is click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog because I'm not going to cover all of these here for today. Um, um, this morning, we have already heard from GE. GE turning a little bit lower here this morning after it its earnings. We've got uh, Verizon reporting here, um, at least at the moment, pushing a little bit lower here on Verizon. We're going to hear from 3M today. Looks like 3M's got a little bullish activity going in there, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Foot Locker. 
This morning we're going to hear from uh, KMB, Kimberly Clark. Um, here today we've got Phyllis Morris reporting today and RTX might be an interesting one. Let's get RTX here though. Might be an interesting one to pay attention to here today. This afternoon, we're gonna hear from things like um, AB, ADC, sorry, ADC, DC, there we go. Uh, we're gonna hear from um, some railroads, CNI will be, it's sake. I cannot type this morning. Sorry, everyone. CNI will be reporting. Uh, JBT will be on that list. MTDR will be reporting here today. We've got um, Seagate this afternoon. We've got Texas Instruments this afternoon. So quite a few um, reports here today. And remember, we're only going to ramp up from here. It's going to get busier and busier and busier. So locate that link uh, below the title of the video so you can get back to the morning blog to catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful to your trading, if you could do me that favor, that'd be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow and also supports the effort of just putting out this information every day. It does take an awful lot of work. So thank you everyone who does support that, uh, that effort. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to be doing your own due diligence. Be very, very focused here in this market because the moves could be pretty extreme as we start dipping into all of these earnings reports. Right now there is some concern that earnings estimates are still way too high and that the market may not be able to produce enough earnings to support some of these prices. As a matter of fact, there was a story on that in CNBC to this morning. So be prepared for some volatility if we happen to get some surprises here in these earnings reports. First off, let's take a look at a few things in here that look pretty good. Remember, you've got to do your own due diligence. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Follow your rules and your guidelines. First off, as you guys know, I have been talking about quite a bit this tr uh, chart in Roku. And although Roku had a pretty nasty pullback yesterday, still holding in a pattern that I would watch that carefully. If the bulls can find that support today and push back through to the upside every reason to believe that could still come back up but there is some concern out there of stocks that could be failing and so if you're looking for something to put, maybe put you on the short side of the market and take a look at PSA PSA lower high failure here failing at price resistance and downtrend failing the upside trend so I would watch this carefully for that next opportunity to enter a short on this maybe a little bounce back or a little consolidation out here to trend look for that next opportunity to find a potential short take a look at AMD now AMD still a little bit of a question mark in here but right now we have that possibility of a short setting up here on AMD. And you can see that possible hint to this little head and shoulders top may be forming here on AMD. Watch that carefully. If this were to break this area of price support, I would look for that short, maybe to carry us on down to this next area of price support in AMD. And I know nobody wants me to talk about um, tech uh, having bearish patterns, but there is a bearish pattern there to be paying attention to on AMD. Back to the bullish side, you know, if we take a look at things like McDonald's, still very, very strong, pushing to the upside here. This little resting consolidation in here back to trend, 
I would look for that next opportunity to the upside there. Let's take a look at utilities. Utilities are still holding in a very bullish pattern, which is interesting. We wouldn't normally see something this conservative where it is more of a dividend play than anything else holding up so strongly in an otherwise very, very bullish market. So watch this carefully. If this holds this support here and pushes back to the upside, then um, there might be the next opportunity to take advantage of that here in utilities. But I wouldn't rule out the possibility if the bears or uh, if the bulls really push to the upside that we would see some fade in this and this could start coming down. So watch that pretty carefully here in utilities. We're certainly seeing some of the defensive sector type stocks find some energy here. Philip Morris on its report today finding a little bit of energy here today so again some of those dividend payers starting to show a little bit of sign of bullishness to maybe pushing up here I would watch that carefully after slipping out from underneath this downtrend here in Philip Morris it would be a very very shallow but there is that possibility there's a little inverted head and shoulders pattern right there so watch that carefully if that can continue to follow through to the upside again not something you would typically see in what we you would consider to be a very very bullish market right now um, there is a hint out here uh, particularly with the bonds that there is some problems in the market if we take a look at our dollar our dollar is continuing to show us those problems in the market trying to stretch on higher here this morning watch this resistance here in the chart let's hope this resistance can do its job and we can start seeing that dollar rest or pull back here from this big strong move to the upside but as long as we continue to see those bonds pushing to the upside i would look for a strengthening in the dollar to continue and if it breaks this resistance boy there is some upside room here for the dollar to go so watch carefully on that that being said we still got to be keeping an eye on these precious metals gld i wouldn't want to chase it here it's just too many days to the upside this needs a little rest or consolidation in here and then i'd be looking for that next opportunity there in gold and by all estimates um, gold should be higher um, the way things are looking um, I think it was Morgan Stanley suggesting a 3,000 target here on gold so we've got um, about 300 more points higher here um, that we can go I would watch that carefully here in GLD um, let's take a look at a few other stocks in here still think shop is setting up really nicely nice little resting consolidation look for those bulls to maybe push on through there a little pop into there um, I could certainly see uh, some good upside here you got to give a nod to Nvidia the and this was a big pop here um, yesterday pushing through to all-time highs as the the confidence here in Nvidia is so incredibly strong watch that carefully here um, any rest or pullback could set up the next opportunity there in nvidia and apple apple continues to hold in there pretty strong we pushed up through this resistance here in the chart a little resting consolidation i think the question is will those um, iphone 16 sales be good enough to push this on higher I think there is still some question on that so watch that carefully here um, in Apple certainly has that upside possibility let's take a look at um, some retail here by golly retail target um, a little bit of trouble here pushing back down pretty strongly possible lower high coming into that chart if it breaks this support and this trend I'd be a little bit concerned there on target and we are seeing those consumer uh, stocks struggling here just a little bit so watch that carefully if that were to push on lower when we take a look at Walmart however we're not seeing the same thing we're seeing lots of bullishness here in Walmart the discount seller particularly in groceries has been the thing that's helped them even the um, the um, upper class folks are finding some relief to inflation by going to Walmart and that's helping them a lot um, look for this opportunity if the bulls can find inspiration we could pop right through there 
but I also, with that issue of the weakening consumer, I would not rule out if that breaks that trend. I'd be very, very careful of that. Make sure you have your stop set if you're trying to be long Walmart here. Uh, be careful. Um, let's take a look at Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs, I did purchase this and I am in this trade, so I do have a bias. Uh, popped up really nicely yesterday, pulling back here in the chart. Um, if it can find some price support in here, we're probably okay. But as I mentioned yesterday, new cores earnings would likely affect um, what happens in CLF. And clearly that pulled back here pretty hard yesterday. So if CLF cannot hold this support and this upside trend, I'd be really careful with it. Remember, it's going to report on 11.4, so it's still got some time in here, but a little bit of rest consolidation in here could set up more upside if we can get that bullishness coming into the market. So there's a few stocks for you to be paying attention to. Hey, I want to wish you all the very best today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, putting up with me, me being gone on Friday, and then of course this root canal and of course I'm going to have more dentist appointments coming up as a result of that with a couple of caps that have to be put on so not my favorite days but we will get get through that and I will try to schedule those so it doesn't um, cause too much problem or disruption in the the prep videos or in the trading room today so you all take care have a great um, day and i will see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning wish you all the very very best